Hello viewers, welcome to Ecom IS Academy. Today onwards, we are going to start a quick bite series which will give you information, lot of information in very less amount of time. Let's start without any further delay. Today, we are going to discuss about Azad Hind Faust. You know why we are going to discuss about this, right? So recently an actor turned politician, she had made a remark against the first Prime Minister of India. So she said it, it was not the Jawaharlal Nehru, but it was Subhash Chandra Bose who was the first Prime Minister of India. Regarding this, there has been a political controversy also. There has been so huge criticism that she doesn't know anything about the political history of India and all. So in that context, we need to know about what is this Azad Hind Faus or all, also called Indian National Army. So what, who formed this? What is the job of this organization? What did they do? Whether they are successful or not in this context of Indian National Freedom or Movement, we'll be discussing in this video in very less amount of time. So without any further delay, let's start here. So why means I have explained already. So first, importantly, you have to understand what is happening at this point of time. Okay. So this is related to 1940s. So what is this Azad Hind? Okay. Azad means freedom whom you wanted to free it is Hind Hindustan that means you wanted to make India free so one provincial free government you can say which was formed by different persons actually so if first thing you have to remember is in there is one organization called Indian Independence League which was formed by Ras Bihari Bose okay do remember this is different in Ras Bihari Ghosh the person is different okay that person Ras Bihari Ghosh he was the President of INC in 1907, Surat split in 1908, Madras session. So do remember, he was the president, this person, okay. So he was the twice president, you know, in 1907, we had Surat split, okay. Then in Madras session, he was the president, he was different. And we have Ras Bihari Bose, who was a revolutionary leader revolutionary leader who fled India and who stayed abroad in Singapore and other countries to, to uh, and he's waiting for a good opportunity to overthrow the British from the uh, other countries okay so what happened is he established an Indian Independence League and he have taken the members from the prisoners of war in the British versus Japanese war like you know in the 1940s we have this World War II no, which is happening so what happened at that point of time is we have allied powers on one side like British, US and other countries on one side and we have Axis powers on the other hand. Axis powers means we have Italy, Germany, Japan, all these countries. So here the British is on one side and we have Japan on another side. So this we want the main Indian National Army or Azad Hind Faust is operating from Southeast Asia like the countries like Singapore, Japan and all these countries so that we can target, we can take the help of these countries to remove the British from India. So that is the main job of this organization. So what happened in this context is first you need to know what is Azad Hind Fauz or Indian National Army. So Indian National Army was a military alliance you can say consisting of prisoners of war in the Southeast Asia who were captured by the British. It was formed in Singapore in 1942 by Mohan Singh, Captain Mohan Singh. So why Singapore means Singapore used to be a British colony only but in 1942 what happened is British surrendered Singapore to Japan. So after that what happened as Japan has taken over Singapore all the prisoners of war okay so which were under Japanese control those were even given to this Indian National Army so that Japan in case if they support this Indian National Army subsequently they can take over India that is what they have planned but what happened is Captain Mohan Singh later on he had some disputes with respect to supplying the prisoners of war of Indian National Army for Japanese uh, um, like you can say Japanese annexation of Burma and all. So he resigned because of difference of policies. Then what happened in 1943, Subhash Chandra Bose, he fled to Germany and Japan. First initially he asked the help of Germany, but he thought that Germany is only interested in protecting the European want to uh, oversee only European affairs. Later on, he fled to German, uh, J Japan as well as Singapore and then he took the control of Indian National Army or Azad Hind Faust in 1943. So that was the first time when he started this. So what is this organization? It was a secular organization which wanted to free India taking the help of Japanese. So this is the main intention of Indian uh, National Army. So who have been part of this organization means so many persons who are the prisoners of war, they were part of 
this organization and he organized this in a very secular way so he has um, no religious ethnic divides in this organization so in this context you can say this is a unifying force to free india from the british rule okay that is why it is very much important although it is militarily a failure but still it has consolidated the support for indian nation movement okay that is what you have to keep in mind but it has so many unique features for example if you have remembered azad hind faus the name of this organization what subhash chandra bos has coined is arzi hukumat e azad hind or provincial government of free india it was initially established in singapore but it was getting the support from japanese government it declared war on the british okay taking the help of japanese then under the provincial government bos was the head of that means he was the prime minister then in 1943 october then he was also in charge of the department of war of the ministry of war and he has so many persons who are part of that particular organization as members to this particular uh, you can say government then captain lakshman c lakshmi sehgal okay she, or lakshmi swaminathan she was the in charge of women affairs as well as women's organization so in this way you can say he has already laid down a foundation for equal representation in armed forces even for the women also that means he has shown a very good sign before independence itself so tras bihar the boss as i have already told you who was associated with indian independence link was mainly advisor to this organization and he was appointed by netaji subhash chandra bos then you have to keep in mind what is the significance as i told you this organization wants to overthrow british government it got support from all the axis powers like japan germany italy and other powers which are supporting them then also you have to keep in mind they wanted to control over civilian and military aspects so that they can easily overthrow the british at the same time they had this japanese equal footing also that means they wanted japanese help in overthrowing slowly they wanted to enter from the northeastern india from manipur kohima and manipur uh, imphal and kohima so that they can dislodge the british okay but what happened subsequently is when they wanted to enter even some part of manipur and andaman nicobar islands which were under japanese control and at that point of time were even handed over to this indian national army but subsequently you know japan has surrendered you can say surrendered or it has suffered a defeat in the hands of british in the world war 2 so then what happened this defeat of japan has clearly ended this ambitious goal of indian nation army to overthrow the british subsequently what happened it led to ina trials also you know if three persons are famous under this ina trials which happened in 1945 time so if, if you know those three persons answer in the comment section then what happened they wanted to mobilize indians so that we wanted to ensure that british will leave india and andaman and nicobar islands were also handed over to ina by japan at that point of time later you know netaji subhash chandra bos also have renamed these islands what is the name he has given for andaman and nicobar islands try to answer in the comment section then you also have to keep in mind this is a first women regiment that means equal representation for women also was given Even in the armed forces, at the same time, this organization has a unique tricolor flag, and also they have adopted whatever the national anthem we have, Janagan Manadhinayak, that was also. chosen as the national anthem of that organization at that point of time and also they have their own currency stamps and everything okay that means it is similar to the government which is being run in the native land same way they have over they have all these aspects in their rule so that is why they say that this is one of the government okay that is why this controversy has erupted that it was subhash chandra bos as the prime minister but not nehru so in this context you should not go into political things but you should know what is azad hind faus so and try to remember that from this organization only subhash chandra bos has given a call jai hind okay so do remember these things then what is the practice question given for prelims in the previous video is if parliament enacts a law that threatens fundamental rights of an individual then which of the following articles can be used by the supreme court to declare it void it is article 13 the power of judicial review right then what is the practice question today what did subhash chandra bos name the andaman and nicobar islands which was given by japanese to him okay what is the name try to choose from the answers and answer in the comment section as we have reached the end of the video today we have discussed about azad hind faus if you like any other such informative videos try to put in the comment section and we'll try to bring those videos as much as we can thank you for watching have a good day